beginning in the 1950s, chosen citizens of the United States have been used as guinea pigs in secret experiments without their knowledge or consent. This was funded by the CIA, but the illegal research was conducted by American universities, American pharmaceutical companies, and American hospitals. The project was known as MK Ultra, and it was terminated in the 1970s. Or was it? One of the goals of MK Ultra was mind control. Through a combination of hypnosis and hallucinogenic drugs, along with torture, a human being can be programmed to do anything. When the human subject is activated by pre-hypnotic suggestion, the deeply planted programming takes control and the subject then executes a mission in secret. When the mission is complete, he will have no memory of it. The pre-hypnotic suggestion is also known as a trigger. The sleeper agent is activated by his controller or handler. The handler may use a trigger word or trigger symbol, at which point the unwitting subject becomes a robotic slave, also known as an alter, that is, an alter ego. The trigger may be delivered in person, or over the telephone, radio, or TV. The abundance of media in today's world has revealed many things that were once hidden. Body cams record police brutality. Car cameras record freak highway accidents. Oddball news reports from obscure local stations all over the world are permanently archived on the internet. Sooner or later, the very commands used by MK Ultra handlers were bound to be captured on record. The White Rabbit is a symbol borrowed from Lewis Carroll's Alice, who followed a white rabbit all the way to Wonderland. We know this term represents the handler, who gives the sleeper agent the ability to access a consciousness within them, which is normally submerged. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds is not only a song written by John Lennon, it also represents the highest reward in Jules programming. The first compensation is amethyst for being able to keep a secret. For sexual submission, the reward is ruby. For loyalty, the subject is compensated with emerald. Diamond is the reward for completing one's first mission successfully. In 2002, there was a series of Beltway sniper attacks in Washington, D.C. Ten people were killed in our nation's capital, and the two men responsible were brought to justice. No one knows the words that provoked their homicidal spree, but the killers were apparently deactivated by a television broadcast when during a news conference the Montgomery County Police delivered the six-word trigger phrase like a duck in a noose. This phrase originates from a Cherokee folktale in which the duck is hunted by a white rabbit. The word smile or its symbolic equivalent the happy face induces an LSD-like flashback in the subject, producing a catatonic state known as melting. The controller gives the command to melt when the subject is needed to wait, which he will do indefinitely, 
until hearing the command to resume activity. The command to resume is, I'm going to Kansas. Where are you from, Miss Ruby Shoes? J.D. Salinger's book, Catcher in the Rye, was an early form of trigger used by MK Ultra. President Kennedy's assassin, Lee Harvey Oswald, was in possession of this book. So was John Hinckley, who attempted to assassinate Ronald Reagan. And moments after, Mark David Chapman shot and killed John Lennon. He sat down, pulled out his paperback copy of Catcher in the Rye, and continued to read it. My name is Kathleen Sullivan. I live in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm a mind control survivor, governmental, CIA, NASA, several other organizations. Um, there's also a lot of mob connections in my experience, but there's a lot of other survivors out there who are still struggling, some who are dying with suicide programming. There are children who are still being abused and used as human slaves 